What are the misconceptions though, Adele, about these guests? And, and what is the reality? Yeah, there's no question that I think uh, crews can suffer from a yeah, negative PR. A lot of it, from our point of view, is a perception which seems impossible to get rid of, that they arrive into your port, they get on a coach, they go away and they don't come back on the ship is leaving at the end of the day. <clears throat> that might happen in some ports. In our port, it doesn't. Uh, we have a between uh, 40 and 60% uptake in shore excursions, which means the remainder are around the village for the day. The age profile is getting lower. It's mm -hmm. coming down and I think it's, it's, it's coming to the, the, the high 40s. And um, they are from all, all around the world. I mean, we, we get passengers from uh, America, from uh, a lot of Europeans, Germany particularly, very, uh, a lot of cruisers from Germany. And um, then you get the mixed, the mixed nationalities that come with some of the ships. So we've got Russians, Spanish, Italian. Mm -hmm. So th there's a great spread of passenger and... And, and they have money. I mean, especially in the smaller ships, don't they? They tend to be, have you yes. know, a bit more cash in their pockets yes, than the they, average person. Yes, they've probably got a more dis disposable income mm -hmm. in, in the, the, uh, the smaller ships because they, they pay more for their crews. We had some figures um, given to us a couple of years ago. So your average cruise passenger spends um, about 79 euro uh, right. when they're in port. Um, with av uh, average spend for uh, crew being in the region of 25 euro. So um, I suspect that's gone up slightly. It also depends on the, the, the type of ship and the profile of passenger coming in, obviously, with their average figures. Um, we are finding that with the smaller vessels, um, they mightn't spend if they, don't, if they don't perceive that there is a quality offer at the destination. There's no question about that. Right. So you've got that kind of uh, balance to... So you've to got to match their expectations Absolutely. in yeah. terms of quality mm -hmm. and, and, and uniqueness of the experience Absolutely. as well. Yeah. 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 And they, they're tending to spend on experiences as much as product. They want to make sure that they see the, the best of the area mm -hmm. and they, they get to know... They, they, they love to meet the local people. Mm -hmm. and uh, you know be able to chat to them and and have contact with with the locals the kind of things that they're buying i, I think you know there's that they, they have all this fantastic food on board the ship so they're maybe not necessarily going to that's not going to be the first thing they're looking for food and drink but they're looking for other things to sort of have as keepsakes whether that's what artwork jewelry what other things are they are they wanting to spend their money on yeah i mean the the, the jewelry <coughs> the easy to carry items mm -hmm. you know the they 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 tend to go for because they're obviously got to think about packing up and going home. So they they maybe can't buy such big bulky big, big bulky yeah. items. So the jewelry and the local jewelry is very popular mm -hmm. and and paintings and artwork. So that's maybe something to think about. Perhaps diversifying if you're you know yeah. retail. Um, can I, can yes, I just add? I think one of the things they do that we don't appreciate enough is they. They are really, a lot of them are happy to buy and have stuff shipped to them. Right. And yeah. uh, I think particularly in smaller areas, that's something that some businesses aren't as set up for. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it is, it's more work and all the rest of it. But if you sell a piece of art or whatever it is, um, and you're happy to do the packaging, a lot of them are very happy to do that. She's been working with the ground handlers, which is a great idea because we, we can try and adapt the tours to make sure that they have time to take in. The demonstrations mm -hmm. and it suits your specific so requirements because yeah. we, we if it's a half day tour we've only got four four and a half hours and so we, we want to get as much value and content into that four and a half hours as possible but uh, if we don't know it's happening we can't uh, allow for it so mm -hmm. so that's why it's very good that there's people like Joan who will contact us and let us know what's going on. So that's probably your main, is that your final my, final word? My final word is speak to us. Speak we're, to you. We're very approachable. We started off, we have an A board outside the shop. This is our um, little 10% discount leaflet And that's as a well. flyer. Who do you give those there. flyers to? I give them to Peter Wilson of Cruiseforth mm -hmm. and he takes them and puts them on board the ships. So they know about us before they even get on the coach. Mm -hmm. You know, they're not, they know We've got a map on there, they can find us, they can work it out. They've got an hour to work it out while they're sitting on the coach. So we'll go and meet them at the coaches as well mm -hmm. um, and hand these out. And what about in the window then? What have you got? In the window and on the A board outside, we put up, like you say, we started off small, we put up simple. All it says is 
cruise passengers 10% discount. What I've done more importantly is, is to put the ship's logo on, which is instantly recognisable. They know it, they see it all the time, they love their logo. Where do you find that? How do you do that? I go on the internet, yeah. download the image and use it. Mm -hmm. um, so th if there's multiple ships in, it's great to use one that's generic, cruise passengers 10% mm -hmm. off. If there's one ship in, I'll do that. And that's... Put the actual name of the ship on Yeah, it. Royal Princess, great, great earner for us. Um, mm -hmm. And put the logo on it, put their name on it, mm -hmm. you know? So um, that's a bit more specific Personalise it them. as much as you can. Totally. Mm -hmm. I mean, the German ships, we put up a, we put up the sign in German, um, which is even better. Mm -hmm. And when I, I recruit staff, I'll try and find pe staff that are um, maybe have a second language mm -hmm. um, and who are be, are able to promote. So I'll, they're the ones that I'll send out. I'll stick a golf cap on them and <laughs> take some leaflets, and off you go to go and down and meet the coaches and um, wait on the return. Really. Mm -hmm.